he is. Hey, Facio. I made it. You did. We're happy you're here. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah. So um, let me do a quick intro for you and then um, we'll jump right into it. So um, has anyone ever, who knows what home light is? Because we've talked about it in team meetings and we have a home light flyer in our listing packet, but who knows what home light does and what home light offers? Jen, I see you. Anyone think, else? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> well title yes a title but there's more oh okay well um yeah that's all I'm gonna say yeah not- yeah that's good I, I'm actually glad that you said title because that's something newer um so yeah Basio um I'm sure you'll get into title as well but um Homelight offers some really cool programs for um well he's gonna let us I'm not I'm not gonna spoil anything Basio I'm gonna let you um, explain the programs that Homelight offers. Um, and we'd love to go into title two as well. Um, you just dropped off some goodies at the office last week. So thank you for that. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Facio, it's all you. Well, I like Keith. Keith's uh, football field over there. Pretty amazing. He's the commentator. That's right. Go Ducks. All right. So Fasio, do you want, I can do a screen share if you have a presentation you hey, want to Ashley, send me really quick. I or, can't, yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. I can hear everybody now. You're good. All right. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was my fault. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? All right. So what, what when do you say we get started? Uh, five? Oh, so sorry, you must have cut out. The floor is all yours, so we're good to go oh, whenever you are. Mine. Okay, all right. So, um, hi everybody. The brand Realty. Nice to see you guys. I'm actually excited to 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 do this um, again for you guys. Uh, last time, I think it's been a while since I've presented um, these programs. There has been updates. Um, Ashley, just by just you know, you can kind of give me a percentage percentage of new people in the last, I would say, three to four months. Mm, a good like 25 to 30 percent I would say we okay. I'm bringing on a lot of new people yeah well yeah yeah uh, no yeah. how big is the team now Ashley um 75 Damn. Years, I think. yeah I think the last there. time yeah I remember the last time I presented th- this product these products you guys had like 40 so yeah it might have, have it might be yeah. closer to 70 but um yeah all right yeah. all right so um, I'm glad I'm on here again. I'm, I'm super excited to be able to position this uh, to all of all of you. Um, we home light. We're a partner agent with you, a partner company with you guys. We also give you guys buyer, buyer and seller leads. Um, you guys are an elite partner with us, which is, means that there's only about five elite partners in San Diego County. So you guys are definitely um, a very important relationship to home light. Uh, we also do have a couple programs that I'm going to go over today that will help you uh, hopefully uh, close more listings, get more listings, and then also close more buyers and get more buyers as well. So um, what I mean by that is if you put this in your listing presentation, you put this in your social media, um, you're going to be able to attract more listings because this offers a solution um, to all your potential sellers that maybe they weren't going to sell after all. But now with this solution, they will come off the fence and actually sell. With the buyer side, which I'm going to present to you guys right after the listing side, um, you know, this offers a solution uh, for your buyers that are out there currently potentially that are putting in offers and not getting accepted on offers. Um, and being by having this particular tool is going to help them, um, you know, we say four times more likely to actually get your offer accepted in multiple offer situations. So um, please tune in. Um, I'm going to go over some couple of programs and hopefully you guys walk away here with some extra tools in your tool belt to go out and close more deals. Okay. So let's get in now. All right. All right. 
So let's go over first is the buy before you sell program. Um, slideshow. Those of you that were on Allie's Instagram, um, we sat down on the couch and she goes, can I, can I record you? And, and I kind of talked about this program um, in the brand office uh, a few days ago and it's on her Instagram right now. So I appreciate you, Allie, for, for recording me and, and me being able to talk to your clients and hopefully some of you agents too as well. So buy before you sell. So this right here, it, it's a solution, right? So there's a lot of objections on why people do not want to sell today. Um, some of those objections um, are solved by this uh, particular program right here. So one of the objections might be, you know, I want to move, maybe I'm an empty nester, I need to move down, or I want to move to a bigger house, or I want to move to a particular school district because my kids are at school age now, we want them to go to that school, or whatever the eight, whatever the scenario may be. And so these people that own a home currently want to sell, um, but they're looking at the inventory, they're a little bit nervous because they don't know where they're going to go next. Um, so they you, they contact you, they say, hey, I want to listen to your listing presentation. I want to tell you um, that I want to sell. I want to hear what you have to offer to sell my home. Um, but I don't know if I'm ready to list today, even though you told them that in order to buy a future house, they need to sell first. Um, and then once they're on the market, then you could potentially put contingent offers that are highly unlikely to get accepted if they are in a multiple offer situation, um, might get accepted if they're in a single offer situation, if the house has been sitting for a little bit or in a rural area. But the best way to do it is to sell the home, remove all contingencies, and then once all their contingencies are removed, then you can, you can actually uh, get them non-contingent to buy their future property. Um, what that does, however, it puts a lot of stress on you and the client to be able to perform and actually find the right home that they actually love and want to move in. Um, and it puts a lot of people uh, uneasy and sometimes they have to move twice. And sometimes they buy a home that they absolutely are rushed into and, and, and surprise you on why they bought that home because they're just rushed and most likely they're gonna regret buying that home later on. So this actually helps you buy your future home before you sell your current one. So let me kind of tell you how that works. Um, we used to have an iteration of this called Trade-In. Uh, we renamed it to Buy Before You Sell. And so there has been changes to this for the better. So those of you that said, I've already heard this program. Um, this is actually a different program and it's actually better uh, for your clients and for yourself. It's easier to explain um and um and it's cheaper it's like actually la a lot cheaper for your clients to um to 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 be able to um um afford this program so um here we go so what are the benefits of the buy before you sell program well what we're going to do is we're simply going to this time in trading we would buy the home the the client's property we're not going to buy the client's property anymore we're simply going to look at the property we're going to see how what their payoff is we're going to see, um, you know, you're going to tell them how much you can sell the property. And there's going to be an equity amount that they have in their home, an estimated equity amount that they have in their home. Home is simply going to be able to unlock that equity and give them a cash loan. It's not a bridge loan. It's not a HELOC. It's simply a cash loan based on their home. Because of that, um, you're not going to be, so in a HELOC and a bridge loan, those of you that know what a HELOC and a bridge loan are, Normally, you would have to um, be able to qualify for both homes, meaning your debt to income ratio is going to be applied to your current home and then also your future home. And in this case, we found a loophole through Fannie and Freddie where they get to own their current home because we don't buy it. And, and we just take equity out of that home and we give them a cash loan. And then now they could be now they could actually make a non-contingent offer on their future home. So they could live in their home and still make a non-contingent offer on their future home. Very, very interesting there. Um, solves a solution for everybody. Um, because of this, they don't have to be in a rush. And if they sell their home before they find another home, they don't have to move twice. I mean, they don't have to rent. They can avoid renting, moving expenses and moving twice. Um, and then we all know that vacant and staged properties, because now they're going to be able to move into their future home and then sell 
their current one. Um, and it's going to be able to maximize their sales price because we all know that vacant and potentially staged properties sell for more money. Um, NAR did a study. They do studies all the time. I think they said um, that vacant and staged homes sell for about 5% more than homes with people living in them and they have their current furniture and their current paint. So that's going to help there. So that's an overview of the program. We're going to continue. Um, why top agents like to leverage this buy before you sell program. We went through that is because it's going to be able to give another tool in your tool belt and it's going to provide a solution to unlock that listings. Um, and then also get you more commission and more deals too as well. Okay. So how the program works, let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. Um, oh, here we go. So first thing that you're going to do is everyone has a portal. If you do not have a portal, because um, in your portal, and I'm going to show you what your portal looks like pretty soon here, um, you are able to submit your clients for this program. So all I want you to say, right, and because there's going to be a lot of questions that your clients might have, is you're sitting down in a listing presentation and you listen to, you know, their needs and they say, hey, um, you know, Mike and Jen, I see your name on there, Mike and Jen, there you go. Hey, Mike and Jen, um, I, uh, you know, I want to sell this house, but I want to live in Oceanside, you know, our Carlsbad in their school district, but, but I don't see any houses that I really love. So I'm really scared to sell my home. And you're like, you know, okay, great. Well, I have a solution for you. There's actually a program where you could actually buy your future house before you sell your current one, to, you know, so you don't have to worry about, you know, selling and then buying is that something that might interest you? And then, yeah, 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 yeah. tell me more about that. Well, um, I want to connect you to Homelight. Homelight is our preferred partner and they have this program and they have a client advisor that can get on the phone with you and pretty much explain everything to you. And if this is something that you actually want to do, then let's talk again after the conversation and then we'll move, we'll move forward on it. How does that sound? Great. Okay, at that particular time, you go to your portal, you enter their name, phone number, email, you submit the client and the submitting the client doesn't mean that you're submitting them for the program. They have to use it. It's simply, it's a way for us to track that you actually want to talk to us and we could hold our people accountable to making sure that we call your client within two hours, seven days a week. So that's our promise. We're going to call your client as soon as you put them in the portals, two hours, seven days, within two hours, seven days a week. And we're going to explain this program to them. And then we're going to, we're not going to, we're not going to hard sell them. We're just going to tell them what the program is all about and then say, hey, if you want to use it, I'm going to send you an email, you and your agent an email. And I'm going to tell you steps on what you need to do to use the program. And then after that, if they say, yes, I want to use the program. If they say, no, I don't want to use the program, they don't have to use it, right? But they, you know, at least you gave them a solution and you gave them uh, something that they can options for their listing. Now, if they say they want to use it, then at that particular time in the portal, um, you're going to upload photos of the property. So either them or you can take photos of the property. We're not going to go out there and look at the property. Therefore, um, you're just going to take all the photos. So in like with your phone, every single bedroom, bathroom, you know, kitchen, um, outside, front yard, backside, side of the house. Give us a full view of the home so we can kind of fully look at the home and the condition of the home. You upload the photos. You do a property questionnaire. It's about 25 questions. Um, and then within 48 hours of you doing that, we're going to be able to tell you, this is how much equity we can unlock for that property. Okay. Just to give you an idea. So for example, if the house is worth a million dollars and, and it's a uh, $500,000 is the loan payoff, you have about $500,000 of estimated equity. Cause nobody truly knows how much equity someone has in their home. Um, unless they actually sell it because the home is worth whatever people are willing to pay for it, right? So the estimated equity is $500,000. Homelight is not going to be able to unleash all the equity, but we're going to give you a portion of the equity. And a good rule of thumb to say is going to be about 80, 85 cents on the dollar. We don't want to tell that to the client. We don't. We, I'm telling you that now so you can kind of get a good understanding of what it, what it may look like. But because we don't want to tell them how much we believe their property is worth, because we don't want to get in any argument with them. So we're never going to tell them, we believe your property is worth this. We're simply going to say, this is how much equity that we are comfortable releasing to you. And then at that particular time, they're going to make a decision whether or not that is enough equity so they can put a down payment on their future home or not. Um, and so we're going to get, release that to them within 48 hours. 
Once we release that to them, then they could take a deep breath. They could say, this is enough money. Maybe I got extra money in my bank account or a 401k that I could supplement. And now I can actually live in my current home and start making strong offers, non-contingent on my future property. So that's what this whole thing is all about is, is, is now they can take a deep breath. And if they choose to use the program once they're approved, then they use it. If they don't choose to use it once they're approved, there's no penalties to not use it, right? But at least they have it in their back pocket. So now they can go out and look at properties that they want to go potentially buy, whether it take a tomorrow or a year from now, it doesn't matter. Take a deep breath, find the right home that you want to buy, make a strong offer. And then once they make that offer, two days before they close, that's when Home Light will go ahead and say, oh, here you go. Here's your equity unlock because we're not going to give it to them until they actually need it. Here's the money that we promised you. Now you can close on your loan. And then so they close, they move into the new house, and then now they own two properties, right? They own their future home and they own their current one. And then um, and then now you got to sell their home. So you it's vacant. You could do whatever you want to do with it. With some of that equity, if they want, they could paint the home, they could um they, they could they could stage the home, you know, whatever you want to do to make sure it looks better. Then you sell it for top dollar. And then once they sell it for top dollar, if they want also during the time that it's on the market for us to pay for the mortgage, because they have two mortgages, we will pay for the mortgage and then we'll just take it out of the proceeds of the sale. We don't charge any interest for that. And then they um, and then they pay us back once the home is sold um, on the open market, the equity and lock that we, we let them borrow uh, interest free. We don't charge any interest on that equity and lock that we, we asked for it. And then we charge a 1.7% fee if we, on top of whatever fees that you charge on your listings, you charge a five, six, or you charge any, there's going to be closing costs. And then our additional closing costs is 1.7% for, for this program. They pay us that. So it's the only additional fee that they actually pay outside of, um, uh, outside of uh, selling it traditionally is 1.7%. If they use our lender, if they do not use our lender, it's 2.4%. Um, but most of the time people use our lender because it's, it's, it offers them a, a cheaper way uh, for the program. Um, one caveat. So I know we're, I'm throwing a lot to you guys out, but um, we do a, we do a loan payoff value at the very beginning, right? So um, we give them the equity unlock, right? So they can use it. But then we also say in order to meet the Fannie and Freddie guideline, we say, um, this is how much your loan payoff is. In that example, that the loan payoff is five hundred thousand dollars, plus we gave you an additional three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right, for the equity unlock. So now your loan payoff is eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. So, in order to meet the Fannie and Freddie guideline, we're going to tell you that your loan payoff now, because we gave you three fifty, your loan, your actual loan from the bank is five hundred thousand, so your loan payoff is eight fifty. So if it doesn't sell within ninety days, in order to meet the Fannie and Freddie guideline. We're going to go in and buy your house at 850 to pay off the loan. And then, and then we're simply going to list the property back with your agent for the same commission, all that type of stuff. And we're going to keep it on the market. And then if it, and then once it sells for top dollar, we're going to give you a second check for whatever the upside is. But if it sells for less than what the loan payoff is, then you don't owe us any money. Right. So, and we put that, that guaranteed offer 90 days prior right? So even if the market crashes, they still have that guaranteed loan payoff that that loan's going to be paid off regardless of the market states that the home is worth that or not, right? So, but we do not want to buy their house. And if we do end up buying their house, then they're going to be able to, um, um, you know, get a second check anyway for whatever the upside is. Um, I want to stop and pause there. I gave you guys a lot of information. Um, and I want to I want to be able to open it up for any questions that you may have. I have a question. Yep. So if I understand correctly, um, so on top of all the closing costs, if they use the program, and let's say they have four hundred k to use, like you mentioned, for painting or whatnot. Yep. It doesn't matter if they use twenty k or two hundred k; they're still gonna pay a flat one point seven. Correct. So that will be, let's say, in a million dollar home, is like seventeen thousand dollars. Yep, for a million dollar house. Okay. What happens if they unlock it? They thought they were going to use it, but they never used it. 
do they still have to pay the flat fee? No, because it's it's so I, I always try to try to tell people it's like connecting them with your preferred lender. Um, and if they get approved with your preferred lender and they choose not to buy a house with your preferred lender or do anything with that loan, then they don't then they'll, they'll never pay anything. It's only when they execute it. So the only time, the time that they would have to pay the flat fee is if they actually receive the, ex so two days before they close on their future property, say they they put an offer on their future property and then they go through escrow. And then now they say, I'm going to close in a couple of days, home light. I want to activate this program now because I need the money to close. We give them the money, we deposit it into escrow and they use it and they actually close on their future home. That's when it, that's when it applies. Because now they got to sell that house in order to pay us back, and so that's when that, that's that's when the the one point seven percent applies. But if they if they go they if they if they buy a house, they get in a contract, and then they end up saying ah I don't want this house after all, and they 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 they, they cancel the contract, then they never used our 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 fee, so they don't have to use it. Right. Okay. I have a question. Um, this may be silly, but you you guys keep your pulse on the um, interest rates lowering. What's your opinion about that? Like, what when are they going to be going down, and what what percentage, in your opinion? Yeah, you know, it, it, it it's hard. It's you know, I don't know exactly. <laughs> so so we kind of keep a pulse, you know, like everybody else, and we all we always have assumptions of of when when we believe, like our company, our economists believe that interest rates will probably hit. Um, you know, the, the, the five in the five somewhere, um, you know, mid 2024. Um, but, but that's, you know, I think that's a lot of people's assumptions, you know, but we don't, we don't really know when that's going to happen. So it's not really being lowered until 2024 is what I need to tell people quite honestly. We don't know that for sure. I, I would not, I would not quote anybody on that. It's all, it's all an assumption. So I just have a lot of people that are just waiting for interest rates to go down. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, that, that's an assumption. Doesn't mean that we're right. Doesn't mean anybody's right. Right. That could happen. That anything could happen. Inflation reports come out again. Things think, you know, things happen. So um, it's just, it's an assumption that, you know, we made, I believe it's a pretty aligned with a lot of assumptions out there. So. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What are the questions you guys have about the program? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video just so you guys see the video. Oh, and sure. then, oh go ahead. Just how this happened. Actually, I was going to do a contingency, but she backed out because she didn't want it. She wasn't ready to list her house. So no longer do we have to do like a contingency. Like you guys handle all that for us and basically like, you know, get the equity, take that money and to use it to buy the next property. So you don't have to give a listing agreement with the offer anymore. Is that correct? Yeah, no, because because what's going to so before, right? If you had a if you had a property that is currently listed, um, you were going to say, you know, we want to buy this house, but it's going to be contingent on us selling this one. And then, you know, like you said, if you one of the good one of the ways you would do that is you would say, here's the listing agreement. This is how long it's been in the market, uh, or when I'm going to put it in the market. Now, this program, it, you know, what we can do is we can actually get this home approved where you could be non-contingent, meaning that we will take the, if they get approved for this program, um, it's going to take their current home off their debt to income ratio. And now they're just going to fully qualify for their future home. And it's going to look like they don't need to sell this home at all in order to go get into their new home. Then it's going to be non-contingent. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> My ring. yeah. Yeah. So, so, so just to kind of, you know, as we're talking about that, I'm going to tell you, uh, let me get this real quick. So I'm going to show you this. So here's some, so I don't want you to get too, too much in the weeds of this, but I want to give you a couple highlights here is, and this is all in your portal. So when you guys have a portal, if you guys don't have a portal, please uh, text. What I would say is text me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give you my, um, and I'll make you guys a portal today. 858-952-4223. And then my name is Fascio Palomino. And I put it in the chat. That's my phone number. Text me your business card. I will make sure you guys get a portal by end of today. And in your portal, you have all this information. This presentation deck that I, I provided you, all the marketing material that you need for open houses and social media posts and all that type of stuff to promote this stuff. And you have this, this eligibility requirements. I don't want you guys to really read this because there's exceptions to this, right? 
But what I want to be able to talk about is it says up to $2.5 million. That's not the truth. We do that for nationwide because most homes that are above $2.5 million are not easily comparable in San Diego County, in Orange County, in Los Angeles, um, Southern California, Northern in California in general. Uh, we go above this all the time. Um, we have it. We work with a team. His name is Gary Massa, and and he uh, had a home that was four point five million dollars that we did the program with. So so if if it's a comparable home, if it's a single family residence, townhome, condo, um, you know, not a mobile home, not not a manufactured home, um, then we can we can go up as as high as we need to as long as it's comparable property. Okay. Um, so that's all I really need you guys to know. We cannot do it with FHA and VA with this program. Okay. If they want to buy a house in the future for FHA and VA, um, we can't do it. However, the way we get around that is if they have enough equity in their, in their, in their property, then we just convert them to a conventional loan, right? If they're VA client or FHA client, they want they, they, they want to be able to uh, be a non-contingent. We say, well, let's do a 5% down conventional loan. And we could do that with how much equity you have in your home. If it's jumbo, it's 10%. We do a jumbo 10% down. Then we can, we can, we get, if you have enough equity for that, let's do that. One of the cool things is, is if they absolutely want to be a VA, like that's something I want to go into VA. Great. Well, you know, um, then, then they could easily um, uh, refinance whenever they want to refinance, right? We have no prepayment penalties too as well. So uh, wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of that. Any questions? All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you this. So this is Siri. You're, you're, you're a fearless leader, right? And then let's go down here to impersonate her. So I'm, I'm hacking her right now, which she probably loves when I hack inside. Casio, I'm watching you right now. <laughs> I'm here. So, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, so, so when, when you guys, you guys, everyone's going to have a portal like this. If you guys do not have it, or you guys don't know how to get into your portal, please let me know. I'll show you how to get in. So if you have a client that says, I want to apply for buy before you, like, I just want to talk to somebody, not apply. I want to talk to somebody. You go into your portal, buy before you sell. And it's going to have you a series of questions. Is this property located in an, in an age restricted community? We currently don't do 55 plus or age restricted communities. So if it's not, then you're going to say, no, it's not. Is the client is buying or selling their primary residence? No second home or investment properties. We don't do this for investment properties. We don't do this for second homes. Um, we do this for primary residence. So you got to click on that. Does a client does not need to a VA or FHA loan. So if they don't need it or say they do need it, which is fine if they do need it, but we could potentially tell them about how we can, you know, move them into a conventional loan. Let's go ahead and click that so you can get past this whole, this whole, uh, you know, checkpoint right here. Press next, property address, client info, press submit. And then, and then we call them within two hours. Okay. So that's how you do it there. Let me see. Got a question, I think. We know Gary and his team. Okay, Mike and Jen. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Let me go here. Leave. Yeah. So if you know Gary, uh, ask him about that deal. That was a great deal. Um, he just closed it actually. Um, okay, so that's how to submit a client. I'm gonna talk about cash offer next. That's how you can submit a cash offer, right? But now you go down here. Um, there's an there's an equity unlock calculator, right? So you can click here. So if you're sitting down with a client. And they say, I just want, you know, before I talk to anybody, I want to get a good idea of how much equity you're going to be able to unlock for me. So you say, okay, well, what's your address? 2491 Rockview Glen. Um, and then let's see, Escondido, California. Um, what's the estimated home value? 1.1 million. Uh, what's the estimated mortgage balance? So 500,000. Um, and then est estimate uh, equity unlock. So you put in their stuff, you ask them what their loan balance is, and then you, es you estimate the equity unlock. So they can kind of see up front whether or not they want to do this or not. And if I can, you know, if I can do it. My 
All right, so what happened here? Oh, property address, unit, suite. Let's see, it looks like something happened. Let's say S and D though. Um, okay, here we go. All right, so if I personally want to use this program for one of my houses that I own, that's what I can get, right? So between $200,000 to $300,000 of equity that Home Light would give me. So it's just a range, right? It's a range of equity unlock that I can get to go buy a future home. So if they say, well, 200,000 is kind of low. If I can get closer to 300,000, then I would definitely, definitely do it. Cool. Well, I don't know exactly, but I give you a range. Let's go ahead and start. Let me have you talk to somebody. They'll walk you through the program. And then if we can get closer to three and tell them that you want to get closer to 300,000. And then if they think you can get that, then we'll start the process. We'll upload photos. We'll do a property questionnaire. And then within two days, they'll let us know, right? We don't check credit. We don't do any of that stuff. So it's it's really, it's it, it's it's it, it doesn't harm anybody to check to see what they can get. So that's the equity unlock calculator. That's a tool that you have in your tool belt. Then you also have a lead capture link. So this is pretty awesome. So there's a QR code that you can download. And then let me show you, preview the link. Everybody has this. Everyone's going to have this, right? And so look at me. I put Fascio. I guess I, this is not Siri. So I'm a realtor at Home Light. <laughs> See, I put my, my name in here. And then they could actually, so they could get to know about me in here. It tells you about how the program is, gives you the buy before you sell um, video. And then, hi, my name is Fascio, but you, hi, my name's Siri. Your photo's going to be in there. And then if they say, yeah, I want to learn more about it, they're going to start here. They're going to put their name, email, phone number, property address, and they're going to submit. This is not coming to us. This is going right into your email and into your portal. So if you have this on open house flyers with QR codes and people want to scan it and eventually they want to tell you they want to learn about the program, then it, the email is going to go to you. It's going to be a lead for you. Put this on your social media, whatever you want to do, make it a call to action. And these are, these are already made for you in your system. Okay. And then you could write, you know, you could also go in there in your portal and you can write a biography about you or, you know, what makes you a special agent, whatever you want to, whatever you want to talk about in there. Okay. And this is your personal landing page. So edit profile, see, and you can edit it the way you want to edit it. Um, hopefully you guys like that tool. And then another thing that you guys have is a marketing toolkit in here has all the marketing you ever need for buy before you sell. You have the video, you have the pitch deck that I I have that I, I I was presenting to you guys today. You guys have that. You guys all have all the one cheaters, so you guys can put in your listing presentations. Um, you guys have social media posts that you guys can put in your social media. All of this stuff throw into Canva, make it your own, right? Put your own brand, put your own colors. Like this is just templates you guys can go off of, right? Like you guys can make this the brand realty. You know, it doesn't need to be home light color, right? So go ahead, Talia. No, go ahead and uh, you have to unmute yourself. I know, I'm sorry. Um, so it, do we connect our social media to this directly? And then it goes- No, 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 no. So, yeah. So you 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 would actually just, you would, you would click on here, put it into Canva and then drop it into your social media. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, we got posters, we have door hangers, right? We got everything in here, everything. Like this is all extra tools. We got postcards. Um, does everybody see those big old retractables? You guys have retractable signs, right? The big old retractable signs. So a lot of people asked us for the retractable signs templates and there you go. Buy before you sell, you put your, your photo in there, you put the QR code, you could have those big old retractable signs at your open house, right? So there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys click on it and you guys can customize the way you guys want to customize it. So want to share that with you. Um, any questions on buy before you sell? And then I'm going to get, I'm going to do 10 minutes on the other products and then I'll let you guys go today. All right. Do you feel that, does anybody feel that they have any clients potentially that can use this program today? All right, this is awesome. I love to hear that. This is awesome. Love this for farming. I do. So after this call, if you guys want to call me, 
I'm available to you guys seven days a week. Like, like, you know, if you guys have questions, you guys driving to a listing presentation, you guys driving, you know, Siri and, and George call me all the time, asking me questions about different things and different scenarios. I'm available to you guys just like that. Call me anytime, seven days a week. Don't worry about the time it is. You know, I, I work full time like you guys work full time, right? Seven days a week. So here we go. Let's go into the cash offer. Okay. This is going to, you know, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of multiple buyer situations in this market, right? So um, you guys need a solution. So we had cash offer back in the day and we still have it today, um, but now we do it better. You know, there was a company in Colorado that used to do it. It's called Accept. Um, and they would just crush us in, in this market. We would have a cash offer where we would charge 1% to use the cash offer and they would be free. And we're like, how do you do it for free? Like we have to do two transactions. We buy the property for the client and then we have to sell it back to them using the mortgage that we got them approved for. And we close in eight days and it's a real cash offer. Um, or we did a 21 day free where it wasn't, it was, it was, it looked like a cash offer, but but realistically, it was we were closing with the loan and we're like, we want to learn how to do it free. So what we did, because we couldn't beat them, we bought them. So we bought Accept in Colorado and we and we acquired them and, and all their staff. And we said, teach us how to do cash offer better. And they did. And we just released this program a few months ago. And, and now it's to you guys. So this one is actually a free cash offer. Let me tell you how it works. So we all know that cash offers... Um, are king, right? So if you're going to go and 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 um, and write an offer and you're a financed offer, then and you're competing against a cash offer, and if everything is the same, right? If the price is the same, the terms are the same, and they're cash and you're finance, they're going to choose the cash all day long. That's just what's going to happen. Okay. If you're the only offer and a financed offer, you're probably going to win the property. But if you're a cash offer, you're also going to have more leverage to be able to negotiate better terms and better pricing to be a cash offer or a financed offer. So, and if there's multiple cash offers in your financed offer, most likely you're not gonna even be in the conversation. They're gonna say, sorry, I already received like five cash offers, your financed offer, go kick rocks, right? So, so now being a cash offer in every single scenario, hopefully you guys know this, it's gonna give you leverage no matter what, right? So cash offers are four times more likely to win an offer. That's what we say. And I think that's probably pretty true. With our cash offer, um, Homelight is going to buy the property for the client, right? But we're nowhere on the RPA, okay? We're not assignable to Homelight. We used to be assignable to Homelight. People don't like that. People thought that uh, iBuyer was buying the, the property. So we're not nowhere, nowhere near the contract. We are going to, you're going to write the name of the client in the RPA as the buyer. We're simply going to write a letter with our proof of funds. We're going to reach out to the agent and say, we are home light. This is a program. This is how the program works. We're simply going to buy the home for the client. We're going to close in 10 days, all cash, no appraisal, no financing, but they could have um, an inspection contingency if they want it. If they do not want an inspection contingency, they don't have to have it, right? So they'd be free of all contingencies. We close in 10 days, okay? Um, and then we simply, when they're in the property, we bought it for them. They're on title. Now we have to refinance them using the mortgage that we got them approved for, okay? And we get them approved up front before we put a cash offer on. The thing about this, okay? So now we see appraisal contingency. So let me tell you, let me back up a little bit and tell you how this works, okay? So what I always tell all the agents is to be, you know, to put it on social media and stuff like that or at open house, I can make you a cash buyer, great. But when you're sitting down with a client and you, if you say, hey, I can make you a cash buyer to win all the, sometimes that might sound a little gimmicky, a little programs, programmy. People don't really like programs too much. They understand mortgage. But they don't understand how to be a cash buyer. They might think it's too good to be true. So I always tell people, hey, look, tell them my preferred lender, let me connect you to my preferred lender. You might be approved with another lender already, right? But it's my job as your agent to make sure that when we find the home of your dreams, that we have the best possible chance of winning that home, but not only winning that home, but also getting the best price and terms. I know you're already approved with this lender, but let me connect you with Homelight, which is my one of my one of my preferred lenders, um, because they have features in their loan that no other lender has that will help us be more competitive. If you choose to use them, great. If you choose not to use them, that's fine too. I just want to make sure that you have all the options available to you. So when we go out there and find the home that you really love, you have the best possible chance 
of winning that home. Okay. That's what you need to say, right? In in your version, right? And then they talk to us. We tell them about the loan. We tell them how that we can make them a cash buyer. If they decide to use our, our loan, we're going to send them a link, just like any other lender. They're going to fill out a loan application. They're going to upload their documentation. Within 24 hours to 48 hours, we're going to fully approve them for the loan seven days a week, right? We're going to approve them for the loan. We can do this on FHA loans. So 580 credit score and above, we can make them a cash buyer, three and a half percent, right? We can do this on conventional loans, 620 credit score and above, which is um, conventional. And we can do this on jumbo loans, 680 credit score and above, which is jumbo. And then they could be, it's 10% down, conventional is 5% down, low is 5% down. If they get approved for one of those loans, then they're automatically approved to be a cash buyer, right? For the same amount. Not a different amount, same amount, right? So now you're they're fully approved for a loan. They could be approved for our loan. They could be approved for another loan. They could be double approved. So if, if they find a home that you don't need, you don't want to put a cash offer on, great. Don't use us, right? Use your other lender. But if you find a home that you need to put a cash offer on because you need to buy the home, now they're now they're equipped to be able to win in a cash offer situation, right? So then what you can do is you say, I want to put an offer on this property. You contact the lender that got them approved from Homelight and you say, this is the property I want to put a, co a contract on. We want to make a cash offer within one to two hours of you giving the property address to us because we got to approve the property. Put a we approved the client already. Now we got to approve the property, right? One to two hours, we're going to tell you whether or not we believe that that home is going to appraise for what you want to put an offer on it. If we believe it's going to appraise for what you want to put an offer on it, we're going to say, go put that offer. And if we believe it's not going to price, maybe it's $25,000, $100,000 difference. And we say it's not going to price at that. We don't believe. But your client has enough funds in their account. We're going to talk to your client and we're going to say, hey, look, we don't believe it's going to price, but we're willing to put the cash offer because you have enough money to be able to cover the gap in it if it doesn't appraise. Are you willing to cover the gap? And if they're willing to cover the gap, then we'll put whatever offer that they want us to put on that property. Okay. And then we put the offer on. So if they put the offer, we close in 10 days, and then we refinance them into the loan that we got them approved for. At that time, we order their appraisal, okay? If the appraisal comes, if we told them that the property is going to appraise and the appraisal comes back less than what we, what we thought it was going to appraise at, we will cover that difference. Homelight's a partner in the, in the business with you. We will cover that difference. If we told them it's not going to appraise, they need to cover a gap. Say we thought it's not going to appraise by $50,000, but it doesn't appraise by $100,000, then that they already agreed to cover the $50,000. They didn't agree to cover that additional fifty, dollars so we will step in and cover that additional $50,000. So that's the appraisal protection. Does anybody have any questions on that program? Do you guys like that program or you guys hate that program? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's see if we have, um, okay. I have a client for the right now. And 1.7, I call you. Okay. Let's, let me see if anybody has any questions in the chat real quick. Would this be a good substitute for a buyer who wants a seller finance option? Um, yeah, no. So seller finance options for cash offer. Um, they still got to get approved for the loan. We are going to refinance them in the loan for that cash offer. Okay, so they still have to use our loan. The caveat is this is 100% free. Okay, so we don't charge any fee for this cash offer. Okay, we charge for the loan. We only charge $1,200 flat fee for the loan. So put us up against any loan estimate. Every loan officer, every loan company charges origination fees, charges underwriting fees, processing fees, um, additional junk fees, application fees. We charge $1,200 flat fee, no other fee besides that, and they get to be a free cash buyer, okay? So FHA, conventional, and then also um, uh, jumbo. And we can go up, I've seen this go up to $5 million, right? So um, if they want to use VA, we do have a cash offer VA option. It's just, run, it's ran a little bit differently than this program. So we get to do a cash offer for VA. We have to close in 28 days for that one though. Um, any, any other, so how are your rates compared to the market rates? Okay. So FHA and conventional were super competitive, right? Jumbo. I've been seeing, we're probably about a half a point off for jumbo from like your average 
like guaranteed rate, you know, uh, caliber home loans. Um, you know, one of the cool things though, if you need to use a cat, you know, you're going to be a cash buyer. Like I said, you be able to you negotiate better terms of pricing. If for some reason, um, uh, they don't like the rate, right. They can get in, they can refinance with us right away. And then we don't charge any, any, um, we don't charge any, any prepayment penalties. So if they really want to refinance right after they, they got our loan, they can refinance the next day. It's going to be totally up to them. Use the look, use it the way you need to use it. But jumbo, we're not as competitive yet. Conventional FHA, we're super competitive. VA, we're super competitive. Any other questions? All right. So again, I'm going to tell you guys, go to here, your portal, cash offer, click it, submit it. Within two hours, we, 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 we definitely get back to your client. But again, we have all the marketing toolkit. Marketing toolkit's in here. You just got to change it to cash offer. And then now you have all your cash offer marketing tools right here. One pagers. Uh, open house flyers, social media. Let's see. I'm going to go to like a, let's go to social media template. Let's check this out. Use template. See, it drops right into Canva already. Use template. You put your, you put your, your photo on there, your contact information, unlock power of cash. You could change all this wording too. You could change everything. Like you just, you could put the brand realty. You could put instead of home light, you put brand realty. Like this could be the brand. This could be yours. It doesn't need to be home light. We don't care if you change. We just want to give you an option to be able to have different templates, right? But anything, everything could be changed on here and you could just upload this into your um, your social media. And the same thing, open house flyers, like all this stuff drops into Canva and you can, you can do whatever you want to do with this stuff, okay? All right, and let's do this. So if you guys need to go to your portal and maybe, some, maybe you might have a portal, Maybe you don't even know you have a portal. Go to homelight.com. Go to, um, let me go to sign out. Homelight.com, go to sign in. And then type in your email. Let's see, I'm going to go to Fascia, Palomino, Yahoo, continue. And then say I forgot my password, but forgot password. And then a password will email to you. Um, if you know one, if you've never logged in your portal, most likely your password is one two three four five six. Okay, and if, if it's not one two three four five six, then it's forgot password. You're going to get email to reset it. Okay, and if for some reason it says that they don't know who you are, that means you don't have a portal. Text me over your business card today. By the end of the day, I'll get you guys a portal. Okay, and then we also have um, a mobile app. So text me if you text me that that you want a mobile app. Say you need a mobile app. We got a mobile app too as well. So you don't have to go on to the portal. We got this little mobile app right here that you can submit all your clients. And so if you need this mobile app, text me, say, send me the mobile app and I'll send you the mobile app too as well. All right. So hopefully this was valuable to you guys and you guys can go out there and crush the week, the day, the year using these programs. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm excited about it, maybe because I'm biased. Am I biased? <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I'm available to you guys um, anytime. Uh, you know, um, I'm definitely a resource. I know real estate. I know contracts. I've been in this game for a while. Um, so anything you need, not even programs, but you, hey, Fosio, I got a, I got you know, a question on this. I got a question on that. This is a, a deal related. I know you got a great team to go bounce ideas off of, but but I'm one of those guys that maybe have a different view of certain things. And if you guys ever want to talk real estate or business or anything else, you give me a call. Okay. I appreciate you guys this time. Thank you, Fasio. Thank you. You guys have a good one. You too. Thank Bye. you.